epistle of blessed Paul the Apostle to the Romans. Brethren, be not wise in your own conceits, to no man rendering evil for evil, providing good things not only in the sight of God, but also in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as is in you, having peace with all men, not revenging yourselves, my dearly beloved, but give place unto wrath, for it is written, Revenge is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. But if thy enemy be hungry, give him to eat. If he thirst, give him to drink. For doing this, thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. Be not overcome by evil, but overcome evil by good. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time when Jesus was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him, and behold, a leper came and adored him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus, stretching forth his hand, touched him, saying, I will be thou made clean. And forthwith his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus saith to him, See thou tell no man, but go show thyself to the priest, and offer the gift which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. And when he had entered into Capernaum, there came to him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy and is grievously tormented. And Jesus saith to him, I will come and heal him. And the centurion making answer said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under my roof, but only say the word and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man subject to authority, having under me soldiers. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. And Jesus, hearing this, marveled, and said to them that followed him, Amen, I say to you, I have not found so great faith in Israel. And I say to you that many shall come from the east and the west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into the exterior darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, Go, and as thou hast believed, so be it done to thee. And the servant was healed at the same hour. Thus far the words of today's Holy Gospel. Today is the third Sunday after the Epiphany, and this Holy Mass is being offered for the people of the parish. In your charity, please remember the soul of Mary Durain in your prayers. Mary would come here regularly for the Latin Mass up until the lockdown, and then after the lockdown, she started declining somewhat and wasn't here as much. And she died on the 20th of this, of this month, and her funeral will be tomorrow at Immaculate Conception on 14th Street. She was a parishioner of two parishes. So please remember her uh, in your masses and prayers. Also, several weeks ago in the bulletin was advertised a book under the bookshelf of the, art, the manual for the Arch Confraternity of the Holy Face. And I knew it would be a popular book and ordered 40 of them, but the company only sent 10 to us, probably because there was a great demand for them. But just the other day, we got another 10 in. So if you were interested in that manual of the Arch Confraternity of the Holy Face, when I left the rectory this morning, there were 10 there. I don't know how many are left, but if you would like one, check the rectory and I'll keep on the company to keep sending more uh, as many people are asking for that book. In the uh, bulletin today, there's a flyer announcing a national 54-day Rosary Novena so that communism will cease to spread in these United States. If there's any question or doubt about that, we need simply look over these past two years. And when Our Lady came to Fatima, she said that if her requests were not heeded, that Russia 
would spread her errors throughout the world, and the errors then are communism and socialism. So to combat that, there will be this 54-day Rosary Novena beginning on the 31st of January, ending on the Feast of the Annunciation on the 25th of March. So the daily rosary that we pray here in the parish a couple of times a day from the 31st of January until March 25th will be for that intention. But if you don't come here to pray the rosary publicly, uh, there's a sheet in there, a scorecard we could call it, to keep track of the daily rosary that you pray for this intention. So I urge you, please, uh, in your families, at home, amongst friends and prayer groups, we have it on, on Zoom still. Uh, that intention will be prayed for. And if you would please keep that in your daily rosary as well. And then following Holy Mass today, we will continue the Chair of Unity Octave Prayers, the Week of Prayer for Christian Unity. These flyers were in the back of the church, are in the back of the church near the bulletins. If you don't have one at communion time, maybe you can pick one up so we can pray these prayers for the 23rd of January together following Holy Mass today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Have peace with all men. Overcome evil by good. Today's epistle is clear. However much we are injured, we should never take revenge on our enemies in imitation of our blessed Lord, but should return good for evil, avenging ourselves in God's way by doing good to those that hate us. So kindness, be kind. It goes a long way. And not only to our enemies, but to those around us closest to us, our family, our friends, our neighbors, our co-workers, our fellow parishioners. Remember that charity begins at home. Do you live in a peaceful home? Do husband and wife get along? Or is there tension which affects the rest of the family living under that roof? It's not pleasant to live in a situation where one doesn't know from one moment to the next what type of a mood someone else is going to be in and tiptoeing around them and walking on eggshells, having all types of upsetment because someone is giving into their moodiness and irritability and annoyance and anger and taking it out on those closest to them. Sometimes it is very difficult to be kind. If we are moody or not feeling well, impatience and a lack of generosity and kindness can become prevalent in our attitude. So how can we be kind? How can we overcome ourselves and put how we are feeling aside and not be moody and short, but let Christ shine in and through us? First, we can do what we do for the love of God, always doing everything for his honor and glory, bearing your wrongs patiently, helping someone in need, listening to a friend's story you may have already heard a dozen times, keeping the mouth closed when you want to have the last word and make an uncharitable comment. Silence is golden. We can never take back what comes out of our mouths. When we offer up these things as sacrifices to God, it will help us to be more on guard to overcome our human feelings and use unpleasant or unfavorable situations as a means of grace for ourselves and the other. Let's look to the saints for some help. Saint Therese of Lisieux, the little flower and saint of the little way, encourages us to love and serve God with a childlike trust in his eternal goodness. In this way, the beloved young saint, 
who died at the early age of twenty four spent her brief time in this world being genuinely kind to those around her and above all to jesus as our lord tells us whatever you do to my brethren you do to me she would even make it a point to be kind to the people who she was the least fond of remember that careless nun who would splash water in her face when they were doing the laundry together she would be kind to them because she knew it required more of a sacrifice that she could offer up to jesus out of her love and devotion to him in her diary titled story of a soul she wrote kindness is my only guiding star in its light i sail a straight route i have my motto written on my sail to live in love rely on god's grace to be more and more like the lord and never count on yourself fallen people that we are beg every day for that grace lord help me love so and so for who they are with their imperfections and quirks and not who i want them to be we never know what someone is suffering inside and why they are the way they are offer up to the lord as a sacrifice the irritable people you are dealing with on a particular day don't look at them as people to be dreaded or avoided, but as a cross that you can offer lovingly to the Lord. And even the monotonies of daily life, which can get us down and cause us irritation and irritability. It's the cross. As St. Paul urges, joyfully offer it up. Saint Jose Maria Escrivá sums it up best. He writes, Penance means being very charitable at all times towards those around you, starting with the members of your own family. It is to be full of tenderness and kindness towards the suffering, the sick, and the infirm. It is to give patient answers to people who are boring and annoying. It means interrupting our work or changing our plans when circumstances make this necessary, above all when the just and rightful needs of others are involved. He continues, penance consists in putting up good humoredly with the thousand and one little pinpricks of each day, in not abandoning your job, although you have momentarily lost the enthusiasm with which you started it, in eating gladly whatever is served without being fussy. For parents and in general, for those whose work involves supervising or teaching, penance is to correct whenever it is necessary. This should be done bearing in mind the type of fault committed and the situation of the person who needs to be so helped, not letting oneself be swayed by subjective viewpoints, which are often cowardly and sentimental. St. Francis de Sales helped many people with his writings and his practical words of wisdom. Once he said, you learn to speak by speaking, to study by studying, to run by running, to work by working and just so you learn to love by loving all those who think to learn in any other way deceive themselves get started be kind a smile or a good word goes a long way do you know what saint Teresa of avila prayed for from sour-faced saints good lord deliver us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost